here we go. Where's the baby? Sleeping, I gotta go. Hey guys, my name is Shayla. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I have a TED Talk. I talk about pregnancy, I talk about motherhood. I'm kind of more naturally focused. So we do like cloth diapering, a lot of Montessori stuff. If you're into that, please subscribe. This video is talking about first flight with baby. We went for my sister's 30th birthday. Here we go. I didn't even get that one. Hey. And I just felt real weird about sharing about it because people are, we're getting on a plane. Or like, oh, I can't believe you're going outside. Like, but we did it. And I want to share with you because I feel like a lot of people are starting to travel a little more. This video is talking about first flight with baby. And so I want to talk about what you need to know for the airport and then what you need to know for the airplane. And the next video is going to be about your first trip with baby. We just went from Minnesota to Arizona with our 10 month old. It went pretty well for the most part. So there's some things that I want to tell you that I'm glad that I did, some things that I wish I would have done so that you can have an easier flight. We flew through Delta. Everything that I read was like Delta was the best because they were using bigger planes. So when you book your flight, the seats next to you would, nobody could sit there. Give you like disinfectant wipes when you hop on the plane. Have a HEPA filter, I think that's how you say it. Filters the air as you're flying. So like there was a lot of things that they did that I was like, I feel more comfortable flying with Delta. I was not about those layovers. Take my money, do not have me have a layover with this baby. We scheduled the flight during her nap. I still would probably schedule it during her nap, but she didn't really sleep at all. My sister had to walk her around to like get her tired and then I nursed her to sleep. Oh, it's so close. Amber took her for a little while. Now she's snoozing. I was getting her and then I had to go to the bathroom and I walked out like this. Boys behind us, and uh, her nude colored bra was hanging out like a nippleless boob. But the good thing is, we got the baby to sleep. That other chat needs to stop screaming. I'm not even gonna recommend this, but some people will like, mm, This is my first flight. Here are some earbuds. And I just like gave everyone smiles through my mask. I just didn't do it. Anyway, that's not on my list. On my list, we're gonna talk about what you need in the airport and then what you need actually on the airplane. What you need in the airport is you need your car seat and your stroller. I didn't know this. You can take your stroller all the way to the gate. Some car seats don't need the base. Look it up online and that's all I did. I just looked it up. We have the KeyFit 30 travel system. So you can just click the car seat into the car, into the stroller. Super handy, even though she didn't really sit in the car seat. It was basically just a cart that I used to throw our bags in and go. I since have learned about fire repellents and how they're toxic. Did a whole blog post on non-toxic car seats. They're a little bit more expensive. If I did again, I probably would have got that. But we didn't need the base. So when we got there, we just used a seatbelt to like secure it into place. I think she's waking up. We're gonna keep going. All airlines in the United States, you get to check your car seat and your stroller for free. You can either do it at the bag check or you can do it at the gate. Have you seen the way they throw things around? Like, I don't care if my car seat gets scratched, but I don't want it to get damaged. So I wanted it with me as long as I could possibly have it. You can also buy a bag to put your car seat in that comes with like straps. I didn't do that, but it's an option. Get to the gate, they give you a little tag, you go to the end of the gate and you just drop it off. You can also bring your car seat onto the plane. It's actually the safest way to fly with your baby and you secure your seat into the plane. Our 10 month old doesn't even like the car seat in the car. So I was even about to put her in a car seat for hours on an airplane. Plus you have to buy a ticket for them if you want to use the car seat on the plane. Otherwise they just sit in your lap. Babies under two get to fly for free in your lap. If you're on an international flight, you can get a bassinet. And look up your flight to see if you can get that bassinet because that would be huge. Like I said, she doesn't want to sit in her car seat in her shoulder, so I had a carrier. So I was carrying her. She was happy to be looking around and seeing everything. I had the bag in the stroller and on the car seat and it was just cruising right through the airport, it was super simple. If they do, you're ready and prepared and you're good to go. Keep your stuff together, basically the whole time in the airport because when you get to TSA, they're gonna make you take your baby out. Take everything out of the stroller, compact it and send it through. You have to do the same thing when you get to the plane. Try and keep it all in your bags. You're gonna want some sort of ID for your baby. Probably just a copy of your certificate. If your partner or baby's parent, the other parent is not flying with you, you want a note from them saying it's okay that you're taking your baby. Are they gonna ask you for this? Probably not, 
which I think is kind of insane. You can pack more liquid than 3.4 ounces if you have a baby because you can pack your milk for formula, your breast milk. They just test it and then they let you through. You just have to take them out. I have a friend that went with breast milk and she just bought these freezer packs and brought the breast milk. That's what you need for the airport. You want a car seat and stroller, you want a carrier, you need birth certificates, and you can bring more liquid than what's recommended. Now let's talk about the flight. You do not want your baby to be the one that's screaming their head off on the plane. But if they are, that's fine. Just comfort your baby. Don't worry about anyone else. The most common reason that babies are gonna cry on a plane is because their ears are not adjusting and they hurt. To help ears adjust, we chew gum. Well, babies can't chew gum, so what are you gonna do? Pacifier, binky, dummy, nook. I don't know, all the words that are <laughs> for the thing that they suck on. A bottle, a sippy cup, or your boob. You can breastfeed them, that's what I did, all the way up and then all the way down, or give them any of those other options. You just want them to be sucking and swallowing. She had no problem going up, no problem going down. She wasn't interested in feeding, so her ears hurt a little bit, and then she nursed, and then she was good. You want them to just be swallowing so that their ears are adjusting. Nursing cover, I don't know how to say it, muslin blankets. I clipped it to the tray and made like a little tent, put it over my head and I just nursed her under that. It worked like a charm. It was good that I was under there with her so she felt more comfortable. Like I said, I bought flights during her nap time so that she would nap, but she wasn't interested in a nap at all. Of course, why would she be interested? I think if you can buy a red eye, that would be good because that's when they're like the most sleepy. My sister has a toddler and she brought a tablet and headphones. I said this in my Instagram stories and a flight attendant, thank you so much for saying headphones because parents don't typically bring those and then they can't listen to any sound. It was her first time using headphones, she kept pulling them off and she wasn't super keen on it. So she just watched it with no sound and it was it was no problem. You can get wireless ones so you don't have to deal with the cord or you can get the cord one if your plane has got the screen. Just plug it right into that. Easy peasy. Definitely grab both of those if you're a screen time mom. If you're not a screen time mom, consider it for the flight. In my blog, I've linked all of these things that I'm recommending. If you want to bring some sort of snack for your baby on the plane, I brought those little puffs because they are not very messy. If your baby's a little bit older, the squeezers are great. But I would recommend bringing some sort of meal for when you get there. It's just nice to have something for them so you don't have to go out and get something. Toys. Do you like it? <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Toys can get lost. Things can get broken. The toys that I gave her were three red solo cups because they made a little bit of noise but not too much to annoy everyone around her. And they like were new and a crushed up water bottle. I know that sounds really stupid but I was like, if I lose this, I'm gonna get another one. I have Love Every Toys, which I love. If you've never heard of Love Every, it's like a child development toy subscription. Anyway, I didn't want to bring any of those because I didn't want to lose any of them. Brought like a little bag that she could open just with like forks and pacifiers and like random things that I wasn't worried about losing. If they have a favorite something, I would recommend buying a duplicate in case it gets damaged or lost. And then you want to make sure that you have something for a blowout. We didn't experience this, but I have a friend that did. She said that she was glad that she had two big plastic bags, one for like the diaper and the wipes and all of the mess and then one for the dirty outfit. She also recommends having a whole outfit for baby and a whole outfit for you. You wanna change their diaper before you get on the flight. We had an empty seat next to me. I can do it very quickly, most parents can. So I just did it right next to me. It wasn't a poopy diaper. If it was a poopy diaper, I would've gone into the bathroom. Some people are worried about the sound from the plane, so if you wanna get like ear covers for her ears, her baby's ears, that would be good too. Then obviously disinfecting wipes. Delta handed them out, but like I had some extras just to wipe everything down, because you're just freaking out. Have we made it? Yeah. Are, we, are you excited? Yeah. We do elimination communication, which is like a potty training for infants, and we do cloth diapering. Did not do either of those on this trip. On this trip, it was just disposable diapers. I brought a few for the flight. We bought more diapers when we got there for the trip. That was it. I did try and do EC on a big potty, but she wasn't really super into it, so I just let it go. So this is part one. Part two is all about the trip, how to help them sleep, how to help them eat, things that you need in the sun. So if you wanna check that video, that's next. Thank you so much for watching. If you have anything to add, please comment below so that everyone can learn. Have a great day. Mwah.